Hey, what's going on? It's got done, uh, or halfway, three, three quarters away, or whatever, done, uh, cleaning these guns. <clears throat> and, uh, I thought I'd make this video. The number two about the Taurus PT740. You know, after I've carried it for a little bit and, uh, shot it <clears throat> and whatnot. <clears throat> so, again, it's the Taurus PT740 subcompact um just gonna talk about uh how i've been carrying it and uh my thoughts on how it fires when i had fired it uh you know stuff like that so first of all i've been carrying it in this uncle mike's uh inside the waistband holster it's just a cheap little 12 dollar holster you know i just wanted to get something for it um i have carried it inside the waistband I've carried it uh, in the front, uh, almost right above my pocket. I've carried it 3 o'clock, uh, 5 o'clock. But it just doesn't carry that, that well for me. Um, you know, a lot of it's the holster, a lot of it's the gun. I'm sure some of it's my body type and whatnot. But it is winter. And uh, I have been uh, just throwing it right uh, in the front pocket of my jacket or my coat. You know, it's not all that heavy, so it doesn't really weigh my coat down. Um, I got a decent coat, you know, so it rides well up there. Uh, a lot better than uh, if I was to throw, you know, like Glock 23 or something in there. That would just be fucking ridiculous. There's no sense in that. But yeah, rides rides well up there, and that's, uh, that's how I have been carrying it. Um, I noticed when I was carrying it, inside the waistband uh, my Glock 23 carries or conceals the the system I use and the position I carry it in this is concealed very well in just a t-shirt okay I uh, you know I got a nice thick belt got the crossbreed super tuck here um, Clips are spread out, so it distributes the weight of this gun, fully loaded magazine, very well. Doesn't pull my pants down or anything. Don't have to readjust it, you know. It uh, carries very well. And it's tied up against my body. Um, doesn't print too much unless I really bend forward, you know. People never know I really have this gun on me, and I carry it at 5 o'clock. But... <clears throat> This little Taurus here, uh, the way the gun is, you know, when it's, uh, you know, it lays down flat, but when it's in between my body and my belt is uh, putting pressure on it, you know, it's putting pressure here. Well, if you notice, watch the, the heel of the gun. It'll raise up, you know, and get my fingers in there. Okay, well this pulls it away from my body, and the heel uh, pokes out and prints on my shirt. Alright, now that's no big deal if I have a jacket on, uh, or what, or, you know, stuff like that, but I noticed just in this uh, holster inside my pocket, that's the best right now for me that I have found to carry it. I'm sure, you know... Down the road, I'll probably get a better holster for it and whatnot, and my ideas on that will completely change. Then again, it might not. So, that's just uh, something I've noticed. Okay. But that's about an enough of that. Now, let's talk about how this little thing fires. This thing is a, you know, it's a subcompact uh, shooting 40 Smith & Wesson, and, you know, that's going to produce a lot of muzzle flip. This thing is is a little hand howitzer man okay because it is a uh, slim I, I can get you know it feels nice in my hand you know that's that's no problem feels real nice in the hand <laughs> but the muzzle flip on this <clears throat> this thing flips up uh, pretty hard it's real snappy I, I guess you could say and I've noticed I don't I don't know if it's because of uh, the way I'm holding it, I hold it like I do any other firearm, so, um, or any other pistol, uh, 
as as the muzzle flips up, it also twists around in my hand. You know, I can feel it twist around a little. And I fired about 150, 175 rounds through it. You know, um, maybe that'll change. as you know, I fire a couple thousand rounds through it and get a little more used to it. But right now, at this point in time, it it twists around in my hand uh, a little bit. And I can also feel the magazine when I fire. Um, I'm not sure if it's when it's uh, chambering around or or whatnot, but I can I can feel it uh, move around down here as my uh, pinky's down down underneath it. Now I, that could be because of my pinky pushing on it. You know, I can kind of feel it move right there, but I can feel it move. It's really no big deal, but it was just a little awkward at first. Um, you know, <clears throat> but all in all, uh, it is what is expected. It's a subcompact shooting 40 Smith and Wesson. Of course, it's going to be snappy. Of course, it's going to move around a little, but giving up some of that, uh, thickness, you know, you're, you're giving up some surface to, to grip. So that is expected. I'm not, uh, really bitching about it. I'm just, uh, kind of telling you. Uh, how how it feels for me <clears throat> okay but it fires nice I'm real happy with it um, it's it's serving the the purpose that I bought it for okay that that's a smaller lighter gun that I can take with me when I cannot take my uh, Glock 23 you know it's winter time you're you know you're outside doing more activities you know I go ice skating in the winter I used to play hockey so I like to go ice skating every once in a while. You know, I really enjoy it. <clears throat> and I don't want to be carrying inside the waistband going in there ice skating. That's just not something I want to do. And this, you can just pull it out of your pocket, you know, throw it underneath the seat, and go in there and have a little bit of fun, you know. So it's it's uh, working out well. Um, another thing is uh, the loaded chamber indicator, okay. It's really no big deal for me. Because I'm not a fucking idiot and I know when I have a round in the chamber, you know. I don't, I don't treat guns as toys. Uh, as as most people don't. But, you know, there are people out there that just aren't as, uh, you know, they didn't grow up around firearms. And they are they might not be as comfortable. So, they might want a more pronounced loaded chamber indicator. And I'll go ahead and uh, chamber around here and uh, show you. Okay. Now there it is. It barely sticks up, you know. I mean, you really got to look to to tell if it's sticking up. I'm not sure how well you can see that. And if you're looking down the sights, um, you know, you can kind of tell it's up, but uh, not not too completely. All right, so you know if you're not that comfortable with them, uh, maybe you want a more pronounced uh, loaded chamber indicator. But it it works fine for me. <clears throat> no big deal, you know. Like I said, uh, I'm pretty uh, happy with this gun right now. <clears throat> Another thing, the sights. <clears throat> you know, it comes with the the tool to adjust the sight and to lock the gun and to adjust the sight you know give it a twist audible click as to uh, every increase in windage and and elevation that you go through you know you heard a little snappy click to let you know it's raised um, it was shooting low and left out of the box okay but no big deal. It does have adjustable sights. And I, I can't say this enough. All in all, I am really happy with uh, with this uh, pistol right here. It is serving the purpose that I bought it for very well. And after you get all that packing grease and shit out of there, this thing is uh, pretty smooth. You know? It's a, it's a well-built gun. You know? Again, I'm pretty happy with it <clears throat> so there's just some thoughts on that I'll go out 
next time I go to the range, which will probably be this weekend, I'll take some video. Uh, you know, this isn't really a comparison as I'm not comparing the firearms at all, but um, uh, I'm going to compare the, you know, not really compare, just show you the amount of muzzle flip you get out of this Taurus as compared to this Glock 23. And a lot of that is, uh, you know, the, the grip I can get on this, the length of the barrel, the weight of the gun itself, you know what I mean? It's just more controlled than this. But <clears throat> then again, that's no big deal. This is not a, a target gun. This is not a, uh, you know, competition gun or anything. This is a self-defense uh, pistol. You know, this is for if, you know, someone's right there, they're threatening your life, you need to act. You know what I mean? If someone's, you know, down the street shooting at me, I'm not, this isn't the fucking Wild West. I'm not going to be standing out in the middle of the road shooting halfway down the street at someone uh, with this pistol. I'm going to be hiding behind something. I'm not a, I'm not an idiot. You know what I mean? I'm not a, not a fucking cowboy. Uh, it's just, <clears throat> so it's. It's, uh, its purpose is, you know, up close. It, it is a subcompact. You're not going to be reaching out there at 50 yards and and shooting targets and, you know, trying to defend yourself at, at uh, such a distance. <clears throat> so, there's just some thoughts on that. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll get a video up uh, showing the, the muzzle flip. And I went to the range, man. It was just miserably cold out there, you know. I'm up on... Uh, uh, South Central Washington State. It's pretty cold here. We got a bit of snow and stuff. So, so you know, it is what it is, man. But great gun. Real happy with it right now. Uh, like I said, just fired about 150, 175 rounds through it. I'm sure uh, some of my ideas will change as uh, you know I fire a couple thousand through it or or whatnot. So. So there you go, and again, thanks a lot.